Hello, it's your meme, Mom, and today I present to you what World War II booklet taught me about living in self-quarantine. Here are some tips for you straight from a 1943 British booklet on well-being. Be regular in your living habits. A watchmaker will tell you that a watch will keep better time if it is wound up at the same hour each day. The sun rises and sets at regular intervals. With unfailing regularity, spring comes after winter. Nature sets us an example in being regular in her habits. If we rebel and become irregular in our habits, we pay for it in the long run. That is why the first rule of health is to be regular in the habits of living, eating, sleeping, resting, working, emptying the bowels. Of course, too much regularity can become rather dull, but there is plenty of room for an occasional breakaway. Start the day well. Try to have your meals at the same time each day. Eat more vegetables. Drink a glass of water first thing in the morning and give yourself time. Get enough sleep. It is possible that you begin the day badly by ending yesterday badly. That is, by going to bed too late. It is true that some people can do with less sleep than others, but the average adult should try to have eight hours sleep every night. It may be that you find it difficult to fall off to sleep as you have something on your mind, a domestic worry, anxiety about money, about health. In any case, try not to worry about things you cannot change. Get your share of air and sunshine. There is no doubt that we feel better and are better if the rooms in which we work, eat and sleep are well ventilated. Seize every opportunity you can of giving your skin a good airing. The air bath is just as important as the sun bath. The sun bath can be taken in your garden. This is worth remembering now that most of us have to take our holidays at home. The play of sun and air on the bare skin is stimulating. Keep mind and body active. Holiday at home. For your spare time and your holiday, you should aim at two things. The first is relaxation. The second is change. Change itself will help you relax, and it need not be a drastic change. You may not have been to a concert or to a theatre for months or even years. Possibly you have never thought of looking in at the public library. Do something different. There are many things you can do that will bring change and refreshment into your life, even if the war makes it advisable for you to spend your holiday at home. Make the most of spare time. It is just as necessary to relax mentally and physically during the ordinary working week. What is needed, whatever your work, is change of activity. Something that will exercise those of your muscles that you haven't been using during the day. Muscles are meant to be used. Those masses of muscle on arm, leg, thigh, back and belly, they are there to be used. If they are not used, they will sooner or later let you know about it. Choose the right food. It is probable that you already know a lot about food and food values. One of the benefits of this war is the more intelligent interest everyone has taken in food. But you must know what is good. What you fancy does not necessarily do you good. Drink enough water. Water plays a vital part in all chemical and physical changes in the body. Yet some people think it is just stuff to wash in. Water is meant to be drunk. Most people like their water colored rather than plain, even if the color is only that of weak tea or bad coffee. It can't be said that any of them do you any good. Few people drink enough water, so see that you get enough of it yourself. Don't pass your cold on. 
One way to stop germs spreading from one person's throat to another's is to isolate the infected person. If everyone at the very sign of a cold were to go promptly to bed and stay there, then the common cold would not be so common as it is, and everyone would lose much less time at work. There is a peculiar thing about germs, and that is that dangerous germs may lodge in your throat without doing you any harm, but they may prove harmful to other people. Help yourself to be well. What you think and how you think about your health is important. Don't think that taking thoughts about yourself is morbid or unhealthy. The human body is a marvelous piece of construction. The human mind is the most delicately adjusted mechanism. And this war has shown us once more that both are, at the same time, amazingly tough. To get the most out of life, you must put the most into it. Live, love, laugh, labor to the fullness of your capacity.